So Logan Paul is under fire yet again. So you know how he has his prime drink. So you got prime hydration and you got prime energy. Prime energy from what they said allegedly, okay? They said that prime energy on one can of it where it's like in a it's like in a Red Bull kind of container, you know, the aluminum. Um in one can, they said it has as much caffeine as like two Red Bulls. You know, they said like this stuff is like you know what I mean? So um now he's under fire for his prime hydration i'm like well prime hydration was supposed to be like your gatorade you know not like a red bull it's not an energy drink it's like a gatorade we're supposed to you know hydrate you and stuff i'm like what what could be the problem with this one <laughs> let's get into it okay so it says lawsuit investigation does prime hydration uh, grape sports drink contain toxic pfas or pfas chemicals okay now this is from classaction.org okay this is a legitimate you know so let's get into it so i just want to know real quick that this is the hydration not the energy okay so we're gonna look i'm gonna put an image up here real quick now this just came straight up from amazon okay uh, because they sell them on there so this one says obviously prime hydration liquid grape number of items because it was a pack and it's a bottle okay now we're going to get into the little parts right here we're going to go to the second from the last one where it says naturally flavored no artificial colors gluten free and caffeine free okay it's perfect for athletes we're confident you'll love it as much as we do humbly the prime team okay so we're going to go into what they had on their website and now this is back on the class action website where it says this alert affects anyone who purchased the prime energy grape sports drink what's going on attorneys are working with classaction.org are investigating whether the grape flavored prime hydration sports drink contains forever chemicals known as pfas uh despite being advertised as naturally flavored okay if i can highlight it i'll try highlighting it uh it's possible the class action suit could be filed okay so it hasn't been official they're working on it so let's get into what are pfas okay per poly you know what our group of synthetic chemicals synthetic not naturally occurring chemicals linked to certain kinds of cancer fertility problems increased cholesterol levels and thyroid disease and more how could a class action help obviously if filed and successful a class action could help consumers get some of their money back etc okay you can also force the company to change how it makes or advertises the beverage so what are pfas or this goes into it a little bit more since the term pfas refers to a large group of man-made human-made chemicals that have been used since the mid 20th century to make consumer and industrial products resistant to heat oil grease stains and water pfas are commonly found in a wide variety of everyday items including nonstick uh, cookware uh food packaging cosmetic carpets and outdoor apparel to name a few these forever chemicals do not break down easily and can accumulate in the environment and the human body over time according to cdc most americans have been exposed to it um, due to their persistent nature and wide uh, spread okay so here just a little bit more of you know prostate kidney testicular cancer decreased fertility uh developmental delay in children increased cholesterol suppressed immune function as well as the other stuff that was also listed okay and then here's just the image that i saw on amazon so this is what it looks like and whatnot it has great reviews 4.5 out of 2,641 ratings. I mean, that's really good. But that's the thing. It's saying naturally flavored. But then they're saying that you're using PFAS, uh, which are synthetic. So it's not natural. You know, and then they're saying because you're using that, you know, there's some problems. But from my understanding, pretty much every plastic has PFAS in it. So if it's in a plastic bottle, or not every plastic, but you have plastics that have PFAS. So it's like, but they're saying because of the color and all this other stuff there's that <sighs> y'all he <it> just <laughs> if it's not one it's another you know and it's like goodness gracious that energy drink that's something that actually kind of annoyed me a little bit 
because you had parents who were um you had parents who were buying and they're like well i thought it was just sparkling water well i thought it was i thought karen that you should have done your research before buying little tommy uh, freaking two red bulls <laughs> they literally said well i thought it was a sports drink it says energy prime energy in an aluminum can that's not a sports drink show me one nfl player that that, that whatever team it is the giants the jets the green bay show me any of them okay any of them that drinking gatorade out of an aluminum can you ain't gonna find it why because that's really designated for the energy drinks so you're telling me you didn't know goodbye you know so they're going after him they're going they're trying to just you know i mean he got the money so you know but really it's just you, you can't be advertising it as if this is true because it's all alleged okay so if this is true you would have to then you know change the marketing up um you have to say it's not naturally occurring or change the formulation of it to make it a natural you know grape color you know a natural purple color without all the pfas so we'll see what goes on and i'll try to keep you guys updated on whatever it is that i find hey i greatly appreciate if you could support me simply go to ebay.com in the search bar type in latrice limited click on shops and then support me i have a wide variety of items on there many of my own personal latrice limited items such as candles bath bomb soaps essential oil blends lingerie robes so much stuff i even have men's ties and comic books on there definitely support me and do not forget to like and subscribe thank you